Hello and welcome to the simple skin shader I've created for subsurface scattering which works for things like candles, uh, skin where you see the transparency or translucency of thin parts and it also works for hands the way light is scattered through thinner parts of the skin. So how this works, uh, I've created a shader using Amplify Shader. How this works is, let's see the head here, is it's got a thickness map which was pre-made in uh, Marmoset Toolbag or you can create a thickness map through Nald, Substance Designer and a few other things. So what it is, is basically texture based thickness wherever it's uh, a lighter tone is going to be where the thinner parts are and wherever if it's a darker tone is going to be less light able to penetrate those areas so with this shader you get full control of the strength of translucency any normal distortion so that it affects less area also the scattering fall off does something similar I've also added um, some pre-multiplication of this texture, so in multiplying this um, it's going to boost the overall effect of the subsurface scattered areas, so you can see how it's affecting those areas alone. And also an add slider so that it affects more of the area. And also a base glow which is just self illumination of the base albedo. Now there's no actual albedo texture for this but it's just an example and you can see how it's affected by the light behind. So as I change the rotation of the directional light here you can see it has less effect as I move it away and you can see also how it affects the candles here So if we choose a candle and we can change again the base glow, any additional effect of the translucency map here, multiplication, and these are additional control to the default translucency controls, normal distortion, scattering fall off, the effects of shadows and ambient light, direct light, how direct light affects it. So I can change this base color here to be a little bit lighter, more like a, the wax of a candle. Let's go for that. And you see this is too bright, so I'm just gonna change the strength. One more distortion. It's just a case of placing, playing with these values up and down until you get something that looks right. So how much the shadow affects things, pre-multiplication of this texture and additional value to the texture and any base glow. So there you see, you can see how when the light is behind it, how it affects the light being cast through it. Let's have a look at the hand. Similar deal to the head. There's no albedo, so it's all controlled through just a plain color. You can put your own albedo in there and you can pretty much apply it by any color here, suggesting white because you've already got the color in your texture. But you can tint you can tint to any color you like. So okay, I'll move the hand around. Let's move the hand up. So, change the strength of the translucency, any normal distortion, scattering fall off, how direct light affects it, any shadows, 
SSS multiply again that's multiplying this by this value so it's getting a boost additional value so it's adding this value to uh, after the fact after it's been multiplied it's adding more value to it and a base glow for any sort of self elimination so I can see this being an effective subsurface scatter shader which has got full control and you can easily paint more areas using any sort of 3D painting software such as Substance Painter, 3D Coat, even Photoshop you can paint these values. If I select for the head this texture, so the albedo and um, let's just type in head thickness you can see exactly what areas are affected by how thick they are and this was pre-calculated uh, using Marmoset set tool bag that was the solution that it came up with so you can tone your albedo let me just get rid of that and you can tone also the, the tint of the SSS just in case you have you know other plans maybe to use it for something with a different coloured skin of course, if I change the, the base tone here, it already slightly inherits the light tone and the skin tone, which is all you need. But in case you want something really apparently different, you've got the extra controls, however you want them here. So it's a simple shader. Uh, it gives you full control. It's got everything you need, and hopefully it does the job. Any inquiries? Just comment below or uh, feel free to get in touch by email. If you have purchased this product, please review it. Um, any issues, please contact me first before reviewing. Um, I tend to not like any negative reviews uh, due to some bug or something not working in your particular version of Unity. I've created this in Unity 2017.10F3, so if there's any issues using it in a later version, let me know and I'll give it a test, check everything's okay. I'm usually really quick at responding, so I'll respond immediately as soon as I see a notification and I'll get to it. Um, so there you go. I'm just going to rotate this head a little bit so you can see how it affects the nose area here. So again, you can change the overall values. additional effects okay hope you enjoy using the shader um, I'm pretty sure it's got good performance levels on it just gonna check stats here yeah for these three objects with a few textures on them uh, not very much draw calls and these are quite highly high poly um, meshes you get the idea of how that could work. Uh, also a point light here, moving the point light around has the same effect. Move it close to these objects and you can see how that would work really effectively for a candle. the strength of those. If you're not going to use the directional light, it might be a darker scene. You can see how it affects things differently, so you may have to uh, change <coughs> and just change the range of that. You may have to change how these shaders work depending on your scene. So for example the candle here could be more like Let's change a few things. It could be more something like that. And you can move the, the light right down inside it if you want to. You 
you just have to make sure your light's in the right place. behind the ear here and you can see how it affects the ear and the hand almost like putting a torch up to your fingers you can see how that affects the hand obviously the settings need to be tweaked depending on your use case but I think it looks pretty good so I hope you enjoy using the subsurface scatter shader uh, called Simple Skin Shader available in my asset store. Uh, it's uh, RR Freelance, publisher number 884. And please enjoy. Thank you.